Hey Virgo, I'm going to go ahead and do your weekly uh, message for the 7th to the 13th of December. Um, it's just going to be a general message for the week. I'm going to do a seven day spread as well as some romance cards and a week you need to know, or a word, not week, a word you need to know for the week. Um, I can't talk today, but yeah, it's going to be very fun. I got my, crystal. I got my crystals here. I mean, it's been crazy. I think this, the um, the moon just entered Virgo today, so that's why I'm like, whoa. Okay, so I got my, if I don't break them, I got my blue quartz and my pink quartz here, or rose quartz. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead. This is uh, just a general message. I mostly focus it on love and finances and career, but it could be for whatever. Um, it don't have to be for your loved one that you're like around, like your connection. It could be family. Um, also, you don't have to watch for if you're a pre or Virgo Sun, it could be for Moon, Rising, Jupiter, or Venus, or Cross Watcher. Just doing this for fun here, so don't take, um, just take lightly what I say. Don't make this into your life, you know, like, oh, like, don't make any life choices out of what I say, you know. This is just for fun. It doesn't have to resonate. It's just for, you know, something for me to do in the morning before I get ready for work, so. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do three, um, romance cards here. For you. Okay, I'm just gonna pick three because they're not coming out. Okay. All right. So you have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualization. Visualizations help bring you together. So yeah, your your soulmate is coming here. Okay, reconciliation. Okay, so somebody from your past. Healing family issues. So maybe you're going to reconcile with somebody in your past, like a family member or someone you have a family with here. Okay, what's a word Virgo needs to know for the 7th to the 13th? Okay. Powerful. I'm a powerful co-creator who succeeds in all I do each day. So yeah, you're feeling very powerful this week, I feel like. Okay, let's go ahead and do a weekly forecast message for you for sun for Monday through Sunday. And this will be like tomorrow to the next Sunday. Which next Sunday is my birthday. Awesome, excited. Okay. So let me get these over. Okay. What's going on Monday for you guys? Page of Swords. So somebody's coming in. Uh, maybe like childish talking to you, but someone is going to give you like a small offer of a conversation. They're going to speak a little bit to you here. Um, once again, it doesn't have to be super like an intense conversation, but I feel like someone's trying here to make an effort maybe to reach out to you. That could be like someone from your past here. Okay, let's get more into that. I feel like they're just going to give kind of off like a childish vibe or like immature thinking but it's gonna be something let me get more cards okay we got the page of wands in reverse but it's like not much they're not gonna put much action into like what they're saying so maybe um let me get one more card to figure this out nine of pentacles okay so maybe they're not gonna say you guys are gonna like maybe make plans or something and they're not gonna follow through with them they're gonna be kind of like immature like they're going to talk to you a little bit, but, like, you guys will make plans and it's, like, not going to go anywhere, really. Or they're just going to, like, blow you off. But then you got the Nine of Pentacles. So, I don't know. I feel like, also, maybe this could be, like, you... Like, maybe you're talking to this person and then they are making plans with you. And you're just kind of waiting to see where it goes. Like, you're still... Maybe they said the right things to you and you're kind of just still waiting out whether or not this gives you fulfillment or not. But I feel like somebody's going to be kind of childish with their actions, so they maybe not blow you off. Maybe they're just going to be childish. Okay, Tuesday for Virgo. Okay. Got the seven of cups in reverse, so I feel like you are coming to a clear mind here. Um, something that gives you love and stuff. I feel like you're starting to understand what's going on in a situation. You're not like stressed about it or confused. You're getting more clarity, I feel like, here. Okay, let's clarify Tuesday for um, Virgo. Nine of Cups. It's, you got, you're patiently waiting to 
see where this goes, I feel like. With the two of swords, it's in reverse. It's like you're not um, making a decision here between two situations. I feel like you are very knowing what you want on this day. You're very just knowing what you want, and you're not, like, second-guessing it here. Okay, Wednesday for Virgo. This is a good reading so far. Virgo, you guys are good. Okay, you got the Ten of uh, Wands in reverse. You're letting go of burdens and pain here. Stuff that's weighing you down, you're letting go of it here on this day. That's great. Let's clarify the Ten of Wands in reverse. So I feel like here you're letting go of past problems, situations that stress you out, left you feeling burdened. Okay, so the Strength in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse. Maybe you're letting go of people from your past that like <coughs> controlled you or just were very... Um, unfulfilling in your life people that didn't bring you any happiness here okay thursday for virgo it's gone got the moon in reverse i feel like you know somebody is keeping secrets from you here being very secretive maybe holding back uh stuff that you want to tell you here let's clarify that for thursday Four of Cups, yeah, you're not wanting to speak to that person. You're leaving them out. Seven of Pentacles, it's like you still want to think that this is, like, something you want to invest in. But right now, you're just, like, pissed and, like, not talking to the person. Kind of, like, blocking out what they have to say. Okay, what's going to happen Friday? Okay, Five of uh, Swords here. You feel like maybe they're manipulating you in some way or just uh, deceiving you. Maybe stabbing you in the back here. Let's clarify that for Friday for Virgo. Okay. The chariot in reverse and the empress. I feel like you're wanting to walk away from this to get your higher self back. Get your, yeah, like this word, powerful. You want to get your power back here. You know what you have to offer somebody and you're not dealing with. If they're, like, manipulating you and putting you down, you're not dealing with it. Ooh, Saturday's card. It just, like, flew out one second. Okay, Saturday, you have the page of cups. <laughs> okay, so I feel like here... You're wanting to um, maybe put a little bit of offer, like a love offer out, but or someone's doing that for you, like just a, a small like amount of love here, and um, like someone's trying. I feel like on this day to maybe apologize and get something more um, flowing here. Let's clarify Saturday. Okay. At the world, someone wants to have some kind of cycle with you here or um, go through some kind of cycle with justice. They want something more balanced with you here. I feel like they really want to maybe apologize for something, get the situation more balanced so you guys can have a good situation, a good cycle. They don't want any, like, um, anything to come to bad terms, maybe. Okay, Sunday for Virgo, what's going to happen here? All your other cards flew out. Why isn't this one flying out? I mean, well, a bunch of them did. Let me go ahead. Okay, I got the Ace of Swords. Someone wants to speak some kind of new truth here to you about how they feel. They want to come clean here, talk to you about a situation. Could be a new person maybe you're dealing with here. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. Whoa. Okay, so you got the King of Cups in reverse. Maybe someone wants to apologize for how they acted towards you <laughs> with the emperor. Cause it's like they see you as being this strong person. So maybe they're wanting to apologize for, like, their bitterness or coldness towards you. Because they thought, like, you don't deserve it. Because you're a powerful person here. So, overall, um, Virgo, this is a good reading for you. I had fun doing this. Um, I would appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribed to my channel here. Um, it's Sagittarius Soltero. I'm going to post weekly or a couple days a week here. So, yeah, I would appreciate it if you guys helped me grow my channel. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Everybody enjoy your week. Um, don't take, like I said, don't take the super, um, like, into your week here. You're probably going to have a great week. Just take it lightly. I had fun doing your reading, though.